In this video I'm gonna show you how to do, how to do plotting on Arena Simulation uh, from scratch. Uh, we're gonna consider specifically the work in process for two processes, how to do Y1, Y2 in function of X. Uh, this video is available on my website uh, or this Arena document is available on my website. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna consider if I have two production line so create a process dispose okay so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I have a second one so create another process and dispose okay so this is system one and this is system two, two. and here we have entity two it's, I don't want the same entity this is processing step one and this is processing step two okay so the system out one and system out two so the first operator is cease delay release so we have Rita and we have Sarah Okay. Uh, concerning the processing time, it's gonna be uh, expression, exponential distribution. Exponential distribution always it means so if it is, for example, five minutes. Okay, delay time. So on average, we do one person every five minutes. It could be more, it could be less. Okay, and the same here. So expression in minute, exponential distribution, and this one is. 10 minutes okay so we have this one is returns as we said concerning the arrival rate so it is five every five minutes on average and this one every five minutes on average okay so by default so if Sarah does one person every 10 minutes and the system is expecting one person every five minutes so Sarah she has lots of idle time however uh, Rita if she's expecting one every five minutes and she serves a person every five minutes so she has lots of delays so she barely she's always busy all the time okay so let's do the thing so I'm gonna navigate this just to say this is add uh, f for flowchart okay close so i'm gonna zoom out and we could if you click on f or the hot key we just we want to put a box around it box is here Send to back and name view edit close and gonna zoom out and be plotting. Okay, so this is the plot we're gonna work on. I'm gonna do the details. So all I have to do is we come here to the plot histogram. So we need the plot. We click on it. Okay. Click to add a data series. We will add one. So the name is Rita Work in Process. And the expression is build expression process number and process for processing step one which is Rita the first one so this is the first one as we could see here so you want the color to be brown so we could change the color to red okay and the line so we want the line to be red as well as we could see it here okay so this is the data series work in process. Let's let's define a title. The title here is work in 
process okay so this is the title we're fixing it bit by bit so we have the title here you want the title to be header you want the title to footer so we leave it as header it's nicer we could define the line the font bigger smaller as you want as you wish so the font is here 14 so this is a work in process okay and so we want the legend the legend is this part where it display I want to keep it but I don't want it in this position so the legend would be bottom okay as you could see it here so the screen will be much bigger as we see it here so this is the piece of plotting okay I'll go back to it so if you go back to the title we've done it to the area we uh, to the and 3d view and so we have we want the axis we have the left value I cancel the right value axis from here so we just work on the left we start with the X axis at the bottom okay we start with X axis at the bottom We start as the x-axis at the bottom, so we want the color to be major grid line. Those are the grid lines, <coughs> and so I'm gonna come to the scale. So we want the scale to be. Uh, this example is 100 minute, as you could see here, 100. So in case I want to do it like 50 minutes, okay. If I click on X, I'll see it as 50 minutes. Uh, there is no major grid line, so you could put. Let's try it and those are the major grid lines if you want to keep it uh, personally i don't like them at all so this one is gonna be false okay so this is the x-axis and i'm gonna cancel this for a second and i wanna display the y-axis the y-axis is uh, uh, the y-axis is for the we have the minimum and maximum rgb value visible yes we want them to be visible as a title so visible and the text okay so as read the work in process okay so i'm gonna save this one on the desktop plug work and process and so run setup we have women over two hours and we have 24 hours of the day and base time unit is hours so i'm gonna save this uh, i'm gonna decrease this value and run it just to see how does it look like so as i said we're gonna run it over two hours to say the work in process for one of the operator and in a bit we're gonna do the second operator so this is the line as you could see it here okay would you like to see the reason no so i'm gonna stop it for a second run report okay never apply okay so i'm gonna come back to this one we're gonna double click on it and we go to the x axis here uh, so <coughs> major increment gonna reduce this to 50 if we have two hours so i just want the whole two hours to appear here auto scroll percentage auto scroll so this one i want it to be false i don't want it to scroll i want it to be uh, fixed and so this is okay so now we have the whole data over the two hours of run so this is a work and process another things i want to do so concerning the access which we've done it like a little bit fast so we go back to the font is huge so we're gonna reduce it to eight or even to five okay five is too small so we're gonna reduce it to eight okay so this is being reduced to eight concerning the y axis here so we have the minimum is zero the maximum is 100 as like 100 person in the system the major increment is four 
So I need this value to be equal to 40. Do you want it to auto scale? No. So this one I want it to be false, like not to zoom as you could see. So I want the um, numbers here to be stable all the time. So I'm gonna do OK and run it to see if this value is good or not. So you could see here the work in process. Maximum is like 8 in the system or maximum is 16 in the system. So I'm gonna go back to the wide axis okay and i'm gonna do here two okay so we have major increment of five and okay so we could see the value for work and process for the first person so let's add the second person uh, so let's add the second let's add second person to the system so the second person to the system we do the same way so we have data series we add series 2 series 2 is Sarah work in process and we have of course to build the expression resource process sorry work in process we need the process step 2 well, Sarah is on the process step two, and concerning the, we need the right axis look the same. So major increment here is twenty. Auto scroll is false. This is all true. And title is visible. And this one is Sarah work and process. So I'm gonna click OK and try to run the system to see how does it work OK so we have Sarah work process and Rita work in process so I'm gonna as well include this one and turning the right value I'm gonna go back to it in a second so we have line color scale 0 uh, 20 Major increment 50, auto scale false, auto scale here false, okay, and title is Sarah work and process visible true, okay. So Rita work in process, so I can work in process. So I need to make sure it is on the right axis, not on this one. Okay, it is on the right axis of the screen. I will just double check this one and come back to it. So right value for Y. Uh, so this is the title, the legend. Okay, so we have green and the 3D view. I don't want CD. And the axis. So we have the data series, both of them, uh, Sarah and Rita work and process. So, but I need to make sure like Rita is on the left and this one is on the right hand side, as you can see it here. So we have uh, both, this is the work and process for both of them. Okay. Uh, so if you have any question related to this as i said this program is available on the website the link is available is provided in the box description box below so feel free to copy it okay thank you